What's up, crafters? It's Sabrina with Minecraft by Sabrina, where our crafts are anything but square. Today I'm going to share with you how to convert a mandala file into a 3D SVG file. I'm going to be sharing how to do this in the program called Inkscape. So first we need to find a mandala file. You can either get one online, buy one on Etsy. I'm going to be using Mandala Color by Numbers. I like this app because I don't like to think about color combinations and this allows me to just color it in. And once I'm done coloring it in, I get the option of downloading the file. Once downloaded, I'll email it to myself, save it onto my desktop, and then import it into our next step. Now that we have our image, we'll open a new document in Inkscape and we'll drag and drop that file to import it. We'll leave the defaults on the import window and select OK, and then our image will be embedded into Inkscape. Select your image and click Path, Trace Bitmap. In this menu, first select the Live Preview button to see your preview. Then select Colors. Your scans automatically defaults to 8. I'm going to start at 2 and then continuously increase my scans until I see the number of colors in my preview that I'm happy with. After I've selected all my colors, I'm going to press OK to trace, and when it's done tracing, I'll go ahead and close the bitmap window. Once your image traces, you may immediately see the differences but you want to go ahead and grab and drag your image off of the original image. Press F2 on your keyboard or the Edit Path by Nodes, and then hover over your images. You'll see red outline on one of the files. If you double click on them, then you'll see Nodes. That image indicates that it's your SVG file. So you can now right click on the original image and select Delete. Select your image and go to Object, Ungroup. This will allow us to separate and move each layer to reveal how each one sits on top of each other. It's now ready to be uploaded into Design Space, so save your file and import it into Cricut. The following steps are optional, but I highly recommend this. Because the mandala layers will be stacked using 3D foam tape, I want my lines to be a little bit thicker so that they're easier to work with. So I'm going to thicken the lines by using an outset. I'm going to select one layer of color at a time. And on your keyboard, press Control-0. You can also go to the Path menu and select Outset. Repeat this with every layer. I'm going to do mine three times. So each time I click my image, I press Control, zero, zero, zero. So I'm going to press F2 on the keyboard and I can see all the nodes that the cut path is going to take. So inside here, this should be a clear base. There shouldn't be any cuts on the inside. So I'm just going to highlight over all of these nodes and select delete on the keyboard to clean those up. I'm also going to zoom in because I'm going to clean up some of the nodes that are in the edges. These are going to cut very small on the machine, so I'm not even going to worry about them and I'm just going to delete them all together. So I'm going to go in each one and I'm going to highlight over them and then just select delete. Design Space will open a new project and select Upload from the left, Upload in the middle, drag and drop your file. 
You do not need to clean up your image because it is an SVG file, so you'll just name and tag and select save. When your image uploads, you'll go ahead and insert that image into design space, and now you'll see that each of your layer is inserted into the project. You can now size your project and click make it, and everything is going to go to the mat, each layer individually already set up. Cut each layer following the prompts on your machine, and then apply 3D tape to the back of each layer. You can use the same method to create this type of file. In the video description, I'll post a tutorial for this one. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching. If this was your first time to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be notified when the next tutorial hits. If this was helpful to you, please share it with a crafter friend and hashtag quarantine training.